Sammy needs to know that he was married and he was having an affair with a woman in America. The woman and Sammy knew what they were doing. They were not using protection. She got pregnant. What's up? I'm back again, my people. How in a day waiting they happen, waiting they self. Welcome back to our channel. For the past three days or four days now, it's been about marriage, cheating in a marriage relationship, especially marriage though. And these days, I think I've said it before, people constantly, these days, post their personal lives on social media. What goes on in marriages these days somehow finds its way to the internet. I mean, here now we're talking about it. I started with Messi Aide, uh, now, Sami Oposo, the gospel singer. And I remember talking about this, that gospel singers are not pastors. I mean, I said it, I think it's in the previous video. Oh yeah, last two days, yeah, I just said it. Gospel singers, right, are not pastors. And that doesn't mean they are serious Christians. They are just like you. That is their business. They call it a business, gospel singers. Because we expect them to be holy 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 right, nah the earlier you know that the better even though you're pastors or devoted christians yes we can still make mistakes as human beings generally but i just think these guys are being treated differently and people are always shocked when they see things like this we've seen words too about pastors right i mean this morning i saw this pastor timmy lane trending again he's got this issue with juliana toyo baby in jennifer's diary that lady right you know there's something going on between them they just keep going back and forth i just have to chill on that you know just waiting for something before i make a video on that i probably might post the video you touched my sister timmy lane Adiko. how do you expect me not to, to shake i was shaking because i was so upset I am so upset because you promised not to touch that touch that girl. You said that you you when I was when I was seeing some signs and I was talking to you about it, you said that I was overthinking things, that I was looking down on you because I know about your weakness. And I I knew that this is not about struggle. I was I, I said to Milen, you must not touch this girl. What did you do? You told her to come all the way from school outside Lagos to meet you in the hotel for three days, watching her have a bath, touching her, sending her your nudes, asking for an I can't even go, even begging her to have anal sex with her. And you think that my sister will tell me that kind of thing and I will not tremble, I will not be angry. How do you not expect me to be angry? But for now, let's just talk about some your person impregnating someone else. There must have been a pressure, you know, coming from the wife uh, that you must uh, let everybody know. And, uh, and of course, it's got a church. I think so. And they'll be like, you, you've got to let everybody know that you, you did this, right? And the lady in question actually came out because this happened in usa traveled to usa got intimate with the lady and pregnancy of course came out of that but yeah the thing is right the lady granted an interview and in this interview actually the interview was with obodo ibo um obodo ibo tv i think so yeah the uh she explained everything how it happened and the lady so matured she actually accepted a mistake she didn't come out as a victim she knew that what she was doing was wrong but she accepted uh and she mentioned the fact that this man wants her to remove the baby and started threatening her and all that disrespecting her and she was like okay this is i'm done with, with this discussion you know i'm not going to remove the the baby and again she should be in her 40s or late 30s i don't know but you know when you're at that age the thought of abortion reduces you know you you start thinking 
about something else aside abortion you know and I, I i think that is what goes on if it was a younger lady maybe she would have been like okay i think i'll just remove the child but at that age i don't know but it's hard like they don't really consider abortion especially if there's there was no child before that pregnancy they would just be like look i'll just go ahead and give birth to the baby even though you refuse to accept the the pregnancy yeah we're going to listen to the the interview you know between this lady and the blogger um obodo yibo tv we're not in a relationship i will say that mm -hmm. we were friends mm -hmm. we we're getting to know one another and we we did sleep together we messed around on more than one occasion okay i will admit that and i am accountable for my part in that yeah you know, whether it's right or wrong i am accountable for that I'm just, I'm not here to put him, like, to, because he messaged me like, oh, do what you want. You know, when he basically blocked me, um, he told me that he was done with the conversation. I'm trying to, to disgrace him. Um, you know, you just, you're trying to disgrace me, do whatever you want to me. And I'm telling him the whole time, like, look, I am not trying to get anything from you. I am not here to, to disgrace you. You know, we are both wrong. I never, he, he posted finally, if you look at his Instagram, he hadn't posted any pictures of a wife until like January the 11th. And that was kind of like after we had got into it. And, you know, so whether, again, it's not to slander, to defame. I'm, he mentioned, oh, you're trying to blackmail me. No, I'm not. I, I've never asked him for anything. I've never asked him for anything other than respect because he got very verbally aggressive, called me a fool. He called me an idiot. He um, was talking a bunch of rubbish, you know, in the messages and, and over the phone while he was in Nigeria when, when I first told him, like, look, I even sent him pictures from the doctor, and I'm like, look, want to talk to the doctor? Yeah. You know, I, he, he said it wasn't a matter of him not believing me, but what he said was to do the needful and get rid of it. Yeah, so um, when we first talked about this African doll, I asked you specifically, because you told me, and the thing about, what I like about you is that you are a mature woman, and... Yes. You take responsibility for messing around with this man. Oh, yes. You are not saying yes. you are a victim. You didn't say no. this this thing was you know it was uh, forced on you or anything. You you no. agree that okay it was consensual. You got into it. Yes. You knew what you were doing and you did yes. mess around with him. And then I asked you, right. did you know he's married? I asked That's you that question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I asked you, I said, did you know that Samuel Poso is a married man? Mm -hmm. When you started, when you started, you know, this, right. you know, it's not a relationship. Right. When you start, when you guys started messing around. Right. We never, we never talked about him being married. We never, honestly, let me just say that I, he is someone that I listened to for a while. I didn't go digging in deep about um, anything. I think I was just kind of caught up in the moment of, just oh wow you know this is somebody that i am fond of and i've been listening to for years and for him to personally invite me and spend time with me on more than one occasion and take me to eat and you know and it, it just kind of like happened i'm not saying that i did not know or that he did not know no i was a participant i was a willing participant right it, right you know? and and it's wrong i'm not saying it's a good thing it's wrong and I was trying to communicate with him, like, okay, this is the situation. Where do we go from here? Even in the midst of this, I was still willing and trying to cover him. So I was telling him, like, no, I wouldn't do that. No, no. And he's like, oh, I thought you were my friend. I thought you cared about my ministry. You're trying to disgrace me. You need to do the needful, you know, and, and an abortion and this and that. And I'm like, wow. Told me that he was going to no longer be accessible for me to talk to. And, and then he blocked me. And then I'm like, well, that doesn't make me go away. It doesn't make me go away. You know, and talking to me like, oh, you think somebody will believe you? Some random person? Like, I'm a nobody, basically. So, you know, at all of a sudden, I'm a nobody. Now, let us listen to this interview. Okay, with Sammy. Sammy knew he was going to America. Sammy had an affair. Sammy needs to know that he was married and he was having an affair with a woman in America. The woman and Sammy knew what they were doing. They were not using protection. She got pregnant. Okay, if you're not using protection, you will get pregnant. This is just life. But for Sammy, I can tell him right now, okay, that 
These threats on the woman, I'm not citing any of them. It's called adultery, fornication, whatever. These threats on the woman that I have lawyers in the U.S. and I have lawyers in Nigeria. If you have that baby, I'm going to, he was threatening her that if she has the baby, he's going to do what? Deny it. Is that what he was going to do? Deny the baby? No, you can't do that. In their own case, he is popular. So Sammy needs to take the responsibility, pass all this. I have lawyers. I have this. That's, those threats are not going to work. You got a baby on the way, Sammy. Okay, you stepped away from the ministry. Fine. Okay? Your wife must now know that you're a baby daddy. Okay? You are a baby daddy forever. There's nothing you can do to stop that. Yeah. How do you think a minister and a gospel singer can become a baby daddy? It can happen to anybody. And it's because they're famous. Freeze, what if it was you or any of our famous pastors? The only reason... Don't bother buy my own. Watch me on Zoom. The only reason why Sammy told us this is because the woman was going to go public. Now she's gone public. What do you call African doll. The, the name is even worse than the real name. I think she should put her real name out. What's African doll? That name sounds promiscuous and it sounds slay queen like. African doll. Call. Tell us your real name. Okay, you're having a baby for Sammy Okposo. Protect yourself. She's getting death threats. Freeze, I told you she's getting death threats, right? Mm. Freeze. You heard that. You heard she, that. She's getting death threats <laughs> from who? I don't know. But at the end of the day, Sammy's in a big mess. I think Sammy should leave the ministry permanently. What do you no. think? Uh, guys, uh, let us watch this video. At the time, this story broke, really, when they were still at the um, Busan Center, the mm. half of the work, the story was everywhere about what he was doing, and people were fighting each other inside the church, saying that women want to bury him. So we, he's had this issue a long time in time. Mm. But we don't address the issue. It's like, one thing thing that we don't even include to be well, the first solution to a problem a person has is admitting that problem. If I know that I talk too much, that I talk too much, my first solution is to know that I talk too much. If somebody is telling me I talk too much, I won't feel insulted. I don't know I'm not really a You know in your heart that you have that defect. Is it admitting that this is the way that I have this, what do you call that, mental sex addiction? Like I am sexually addicted, I am addicted to sex. I have the sex English. So do you wait? Does he, is he admitting it and seeking solutions? So that when we say that the next time, we say, no, this is a problem he's already dealing with. Or this is a guy, my guy kind of mentality. See him, see him, see him. Find his wife. Mm. Ah, you know what? So the question will begin. What do you want? What do you want to do? 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 So what do you think about it? Because here's the thing, this lady actually, um, Bolan Leo Lukani, the OAP uh, TV host, um, said that this is how you restore when you have fallen as a minister, you must confess and also step away from ministry. Yeah, because Samuel Boso said he's going to step away uh, from ministry. We've got somebody who says here, yesterday Messi Aide leaves husband for cheating, marries another woman's husband. This morning, woman ex executes. Messi Messi didn't leave the husband. I, I don't think that was the main reason. She left because she was, you know, being maltreated, according to her. But yeah, let's continue. This morning, woman executes her husband for cheating. Samuel Poso apologizes for cheating on his wife. 
polygamy fixes all of these issues what do you think about polygamy i think there was also another guy who talked about polygamy but let, let's read this one hate it or love it a man needs more than one woman to be mentally stable <laughs> opposed to bo board mass prince or something that so women should start learning how to tolerate themselves congratulations to sami okboso and mercy aibi well, we have Baba the Baba who also reacted to that, but specifically about Mercy Aibe's case. Uh, it says, for those trolling Mercy Aibe, whether you believe it or not, your partner is someone's ex. Ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-sugar daddy. If you are married and you can't guide your husband, tell him go snatch him. Mercy, may God continue to give you the grace to snatch whatever you admire. Meanwhile, if this man tire you, I'm available to be snatched. I don't tire for this, my babe. Congratulations, mercy, Aibe. I'm proud of you. I mean, you are with a girl. I wonder how the babe is going to feel right now reading this. <laughs> but um, he was blasted for that. And guess what? He made a video reacting to that. Okay. Um... I saw a lot of comments on people attacking me for, for praying and blessing Mesa Um First of all, if you're attacking me, you're stupid. You get? Because Mesa married a Muslim. If, when it's anything where you know go feed chop, no smell him. If you're angry your husband left you or a man left a woman to marry that person or, or man married a second wife, whether it's snatch him or they use juju, them take enter the man house. He no concern me as long as he is a Muslim. Islam supports polygamy. In fact, if you not marry more than one, one, one wife as a woman, as a man, you may not make heaven as a Muslim. You get so there's nothing wrong in what he did. If your wife divorce, why you marry Muslim? So if you if you're that kind of a woman that will not accept cheating, that will not accept same second wife, don't marry a Muslim. It's really Yoruba Muslim, Aosa Muslim, or you can go and marry a Christian Muslim. She killed the husband <laughs> because he impregnated another lady. She killed this man in his sleep in the middle of the night and they've been together for eight years. I think they have three kids together. So the, the woman, I think, was so furious in the middle of the night, thought about it and just killed him. Guys, what do you think about it? Do you think this is the solution? to that because she's going to spend the rest of her life in prison what about the three kids polygamy here again and this is by a lady she says here quote polygamy is the solution to cheating unquote until a woman wants to marry two husbands do you understand what she's trying to say there then comes the problem problem looms when a woman decides to marry two husbands She's got a point there. Another one here, I just stumbled on this. This lady left her husband after she realized that this man is a scam. Let's read what she says. Please, this marriage is canceled. So there is scam in marriage. He paid my bride prices, yes. But I did not know he came after my money. He's a scam. He has been scamming girls all in the name of marriage scamming all in the name of marriage so this guy go as far <laughs> as walking a lady down the aisle just to scam them and that's what this lady is trying to tell us that that's what he does she says she's he's done it to so many ladies out there probably she saw a post about this on social media somebody sent her a link or numerous pictures about this guy taking pictures with different girls or like doing something with them or getting hooked up with them at some point and promising them marriage I, I don't know but she, he says God why me when I thought um, I have gotten my life what type of heartbreak is this Ebuka, you will suffer I swear that's what she said I mean she posted this she was so excited about it got married but um, it's so sad so that is it about this whole marriage saga and all that marriage and his palava, everything, marriage, wahala, here and there. Please let us talk about something else. <laughs> okay, guys, moving on to the next one. Here we have Ned Unwoko and Jaruma. Well, Ned Unwoko 
succeeded in this uh, what am i trying to say first succeeded in frustrating jaruma some people call this abuse of power whatever your interpretation is about this but one thing uh is certain jaruma must be going through a lot this time because she's been sent to Suleja prison by an abuja upper area court pending a bail hearing set for friday so she will be in the prison till friday obviously even seeing a picture while she was trying to write a statement she looks she doesn't look well that's that's the best way to put it she doesn't look well but this man is reason for doing that for straightening jaruma at this point is because of defamation of character and false news publication and intimidation or something but i think the main thing here is the fact that jaruma said that regina daniels is using her products on this man <laughs> and this man does whatever regina asked him to do because yeah the Kayamata product is truly working on him. I think that's like a, a big deal, huge problem. You know, this man didn't take it lightly. Again, thinking about this, Ned was the first person to call her out. He was the first person to mention her name, you know, in the statement. So again, think about it. Like if Ned hadn't released that statement through his legal team, she wouldn't have reacted she wouldn't have replied him she only replied because he mentioned her name yeah let, let's just think about this well you know like yeah if that wasn't the case i don't think jaruma would have come out to say what she said anyways guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below moving on here we have mommy geo she talked about going to hellfire herself and I don't really get the point here. I want to go to a hellfire. Okay, no problem. But if I will go to hellfire, I will go in a way that the Guinness Book of Record will not forget me. I will not go just like a fufu like you. I will go in a big way. Let's say a thousand years after my departure, you will say, Ah, a legend of hell, don't go. Because I will destroy many. I'll put landmark. I cannot just go quietly. It's a city. Why must you go to hellfire quietly as a mugu, as a fufu, as a dog? I want to go to hellfire. What do you think? Yesterday, uh, I quoted the, uh, the Rwandan president. The president of Rwanda decides to close over 6,000 churches. And I checked the comment sections and people were like, government of Nigeria is tapping attention to things like this. What do you think? What is your take? on these things like pastors ministers in nigeria and nigerian churches um, are being investigated these people should be compelled to pay taxes what do you think do you think that is the uh, solution and also it should be part of the law that these pastors must go to theology school because that's what the Rwandan president said they must go to theology school before they can be allowed to preach do you think this is a solution to that let me know in the comment section below and to this question by the way more like two questions right you are giving 15 million dollars to spend in two hours what's the first thing you're buying leave your answers in the comment section below thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe until we see you next time peace